Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I normally don't really talk about politics or get into politics or anything like that. I am a Christian, of course, you know. But I... <sighs> you guys, inflation is so ridiculous i'm not complaining or trying to seem like i'm complaining but every day that i go out or i'm working or i stop at a fast food or i'm doing something i mean it's so horrible the lifespan of living right now because of kamala and that man biden that which i didn't vote for them i voted trump all day last year and all that or uh, four years ago, sorry, I did not vote for them. Yeah, I sure didn't because I already knew they had some scandalous stuff going and you can't believe the fake news and you can't believe them putting up these videos of Kamala and all this devil stuff going on. I'm so irritated. The struggle is so horrible for so many people scraping by dimes, pennies, quarters, however you want to call it. There's people that are complaining that are making 30 something dollars an hour having to choose what bills to pay because these people in the White House have inflation so high. So I'm on here for one reason and one reason only. I'm going to vote Trump, been voting for Trump. Trump had everything reasonable. He had, you know, finance at a good state. I know people, you know, my other people, a couple of other people might have their own opinions. I don't care about what Trump says because it, it, it's not affecting my life. That's between him and God. But as for voting for the closest thing to my faith, like, I would say Trump comes closer to that when it comes to, um, you know, abortion and um, just a lot of things. There's churches he's even went into to sit down, have talks with them. If you go on YouTube, you will see videos of him when he was in the White House and there was Christian students, teachers, principals that were talking about them having uh being made fun of or bullied because of their faith and he signed a right for them to bring their bibles to school he's the closest we're gonna get let me say it again he's the closest we're gonna get to having gone back into our country to having reasonable prices again rent so dang high it's ridiculous I mean, I just sit here and think to myself, Kamala, I don't like you. You're fake. You're a liar. You've been vice president for four years, four years, and have done nothing. Nothing. You are no better than Biden to me, period. That's where I stand. I'm always going to vote for the person that comes the closest to dignity and the closest to, you know, all this abortion stuff going on and, you know, everything like that. Now, I'm not going to judge people because that's between them and God. Everybody has their own reason and I'm just going to pray for them. But I'm still going to stand on the righteousness of God, period. I'm not going to be silent and be like, oh, well, no, nope. if you don't like it, guess what? The truth hurts. The word of God hurts. The Bible tells you that the 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 word cuts your cuts through to your bone and narrow. That means, guess what? It's gonna cut the very internal part of you. That's your emotions, that's your thoughts, that's your perspectives, that's your whatever you want to call it, it's gonna correct you. And regardless of how you feel about it, or I feel about it, or anybody feels about it, God's way is the way. And the reason why things are so bad right now is because people listen to the broadcast of the news. I don't ever listen to the news. I know people think that that's crazy. I don't. I don't listen to them because they lie. To me, they get paid from the people in the White House or wherever they get paid from. I don't care to lie about certain things, to broadcast things so people can fall into that stupid, dumb ritual of whatever they're putting on for you to just fall for it. Now look at where we're at. I bet you people going to wake up now. 
I bet you people are going to wake up now. And it has not, nothing to even do, I don't feel, with all the people. They cheated. They cheated Biden and Kamala in. Both of them. They're both crooks. They're horrible. Kamala, you're fake. Fake as press on nails. Yes, you. Uh, Biden's not even in the picture no more. So, I mean, I don't know. If he is, he is. If he ain't, he ain't. Like I said, I don't watch the news and I don't care. But I just, I really see, you know, poverty and struggle causes people to act out in the wrong manner. And if you're not a mature Christian or you're not practicing the word of God and living out the word of God, that doesn't mean it's still not a struggle. People still stress about it. But of course, our faith needs to be in God. God brings up kings and he tears down kings. If you read all through the whole Bible, God showed you the kings that were evil that got in there where he humbled them. Nebuchadnezzar being one of them. And I can go through many or more. Saul, God really got on him as well. So I don't normally do this, but I'm so annoyed with, I go to work with people that are just down in stress that don't know God. You know, I always try to, you know, bring the spirit of God to people and I'm struggling even myself. But I look at these workers that are working and doing food and they just look bogged down, stressed out, stressed out it's ridiculous how stressed out these people have made america and i'm not saying don't hear what i'm not saying i'm not saying to not have self-discipline and you know respect and things like that because of course if you're disciplined in your finance and you're smart about it you can survive this way but even doing that it's a struggle you guys I cannot wait to vote. I, I'm itching to vote. It's taken way too long for me. I was just telling my mother today, and then I'm going to get up off of here because I got off of work and picked my mom up. I was just telling my mother, where are my keys at? You guys, I'm so stressed. Not, I'm just, I'm just over the struggle. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to take uh, Trump time to get you know, the system back up and things to start lowering or however, but I would rather go with Trump Trump all day than to go with Kamala or, or Biden. And, you know, Biden, I don't really see or hear much from him because he's down. They should be ashamed of themselves, knowing that that man was sick and not able-bodied to run a country. When Kamala's behind all this devil stuff, opening up borders, girl, bye, girl, bye, we know you're not fully black, stop lying, stop lying to people, you're a liar, you don't have, that's not what your race is and how you are, don't pay our bills, it's not helping our country, we got so many veterans struggling, homeless people struggling, we got Americans working two and three jobs just to make ends meet, girl, bye, get out of office, we don't want you. I don't care what you say. You can paint the sky blue, purple, green, yellow, and black. And I still wouldn't vote for you, honey. So my whole point is, guys, don't listen to the broadcast of what these people are saying or when it pops up on YouTube, on these videos. Pray. Go to God. And then I want you to look at when Trump was running. And then I want you to look at when Kamala and Putin was running. And then you give me your feedback on that. How about that? And then we will be able to really do a serious, real, honest vote because that's where it's at. Have a good day. Bye.